With 11-time Pro Bowler Jason Witten now retired, leaves a pretty big gap at the Cowboys' tight end position this season. However, it does give way for another player to take the reins, one that could very well be second-year tight end Blake Jarwin. Jill sat down with Jarwin earlier in training camp for more on his potential breakout year. With this being your second year, you're no longer a rookie. How does that affect your role at this receiving core? Yeah, uh, you know, they expect us to step up every year more and more and more. So it's, uh, it's an opportunity for me to go out there and, you know, continue to work on my skills, my crafts, and, uh, you know, hopefully provide a big part of this offense. And, you know, our tight end room, you know, make sure that even though we lost Jason Witten, you know, Hall of Fame guy, that we're going to be all right and uh, we're going to work hard. It's been a big storyline this summer going into the 2018 season, the loss of Jason Witten. Losing him, how does that affect the tight end position? Yeah, if you talk about a, a leader on and off the field, I had the, the opportunity to be with him for a year and learn how he, uh, you know, did everything on and off the field, uh, how he was a complete professional about the game of football. And to have that opportunity was a blessing for me. Uh, and now it's, it's different, you know, we have to step as, up as a tight end room. We've kind of conjoined together and, you know, it's, a, it's an effort for all of us to really make the room what it was. And Swam's doing a great job kind of leading that group and Nussmeyer and us young guys. We're just kind of trying to follow in and make sure we know we're ready for the day. Uh, and so it's been great. And the offense, Dak, Dak has stepped up tremendously and he's done a great job kind of keeping us going and leading us. With Witten gone, that leaves a huge hole at the tight end position. What is it going to take to be that number one tight end come fall? Yeah, uh, the goal is for us, for me and Swaim and Dalton, David and Rico, we always talk about it, is we want to push each other. We're going we're gonna to help each other out and we're going to push each other to be the best that we can be. So when it comes game one in, in Carolina, we're ready to go and you know it, it's filled. Those, those shoes will never be completely filled, uh, but we hope to fill them in a different way, I guess you could say, and, and uh, still provide a big part of this offense. You have Dalton Schultz, the rookie, he's just coming here. And then also you mentioned you have some veterans with Swain. How do you separate yourself from that competition? Uh, you know, it's like I said, we just work together. We're, uh, we always kind of try to get together and whether it's in the weight room or whether it's out here before practice, we're just kind of talking about stuff. So it's, it's, it's never I'm going to you know, beat you by not telling you about something. I'm going to tell you about it. And I want the, we want the best person game, come game one to, to be the guy that goes. And so whether that's me, whether it's Swain, Rico, Dalton, David, who cares? It's, it's, we're going to push each other and you know, give our offense the best chance to have success. It sounds like this is a very close-knit tight end group. Absolutely, yeah. When you lose, you know, you lose a guy like Witten, you gotta, you got to come together. Uh, it's going to take some time for us to really figure out everything that he had. And you know, we, don't, we don't have 15 years experience like he did even combined in the room, so we got to really work hard together. How are you personally going to step up? this season. Yeah, I want to I just want to make sure I'm uh, consistent in my play. Uh, you know, I've got a long way to go. I got to get as many reps in camp as I can. And so the goal is to just take everything in whether I'm in the play or not. I'm going to I'm going to make sure I know my uh, responsibilities. You were a walk on at Oklahoma State and then signed as an undrafted free agent with the Cowboys last year. Did you think at the age of 24 you'd be competing for a starting position on the Dallas Cowboys? Uh, you know, when you, you grow up, you're, you're, my whole life I wanted to be in the NFL and I wanted to be a Cowboy. And so it's, uh, it's been a great opportunity so far uh, to have this at 24. Is, you know, it's just a real opportunity. Not very many people have you know, had this. And so I'm very thankful for it and I'm excited. What was the biggest takeaway for you from the 2017 season? Uh, you know, just work hard. You, gotta, you always got to push yourself. You can never be uh, content with your work and you got to just keep going. Young offense this year, a lot of new faces. How crucial are these next couple weeks of training camp? Oh, very crucial. I think the, the camaraderie that you get from camp and then also the hard work that we're about to get for the next two, three, four weeks is going to be very crucial to uh, our chemistry moving forward. And so it's going to be great to, to see how we, we move forward these next few weeks, and I'm excited for, for game one. Have you seen a little bit of that chemistry increase come together a little bit here in Oxford? Oh, yeah, yeah, and I, especially when we start putting the pads on. That's really where it's going to show, and uh, I think that it's going to take – we're going to have some growing pains, of course, but it, it should be good for us. Uh, you know, we'll get all the kinks out and ready to go. Awesome. Blake, thank you so much. Yes, Best thank of you. luck this season. Thank you very much. McCombs Ford West will save you time and money on your next vehicle purchase on 410 West at Culebra. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.